How's it goes? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we dug out a big hole and I have made the space left and right uh, because we will need it. So here on this side we'll have three went going on uh, and that means we have three pipes and these two um, they will not go all the way down but that basically means we can have A wall here. The pipe can can be in the wall. And we need to have a wall that is 35 high. Uh, let's measure that with this tool. Okay. We need to go two further down and then I think we shall have a layer of two blocks dug out further because then all this debris will be below our floor. Actually we should have three blocks um, and we have to make sure that we get over here because here that will be our floor Inside, we need this wide. Of course, always um, pointing to happen and that's where our wall will go up so actually it would probably make more sense to have the ladder one over so it does not conflict with the wall and then we have to plan out our floors in here and the lowest floor and by the way this is not my original design that's something i picked up from uh, cg fungus so here we will the lowest floor that's where we will collect the polluted water and we will have some tepidizer to heat that up and turn it into steam but all the floors above that those are uh, basically generator floors and with so many generators we cannot hook all of them up on uh, on one power wire because that would overload the system so we actually need to separate that and we do that by having the 
close to floor on one cable and then the upper floors will be separate so each floor is three high and on this side we will have the, the separator or the, the power going connecting to all the floors and somewhere on this side we will connect it to the outside so let's do one thing at the time Then I think on here, maybe, I have to check my blueprint because the, the top floor there we will have uh, again, of course, uh, a solid uh, roof going on. Um, uh, yeah. So. I think our duplicants will be busy for the foreseeable time. So um, once they have completed uh, this layout, um, we can then actually, well, I, I will put in the roof and uh, this side of the wall as well, because then we can start pumping out the small amount of gas that we still have in here and uh, to make uh, the thing in here a complete vacuum so let the duplicants get to work as you can see all the floors and the roof is in place and i think now we want to place a bit of the electric system there are then a few more pieces that uh, that we need to bring everything together so um thing here is this will be full of hot steam so that means 125 degrees plus so any of those will not do so we actually have to do it with steel um, pull it down here and then over here and that's basically the lowest part and here we will have a bit of wire going on each floor just like this and we need quite a bit of steel for that right then down here we need three capitizers also made out of steel up here we need four uh, steam engines and then we need natural gas generators in here also made out of steel so by the looks of it first i have to grind a bit more steel um, and uh, probably make sure that none of the wires 
that are planned in iron are being built. steel I'm wondering the heavy joint plate hmm. probably that should also be made out of steel right so What we then will have is up here we will not fill the the whole layer with uh, gas turbines um, because the up here we will have an aqua tuner that we can use to cool down our um, our steam engines so that they do not overheat and this works out quite nicely um, the way we have set it up so I guess that means uh, uh, waiting for steel and uh, uh, then placing in all the rest of the equipment uh, and then that's mainly the, the largest part then we need a bit of uh, automation uh, gas pipes liquid pipes for the cooling um, and then this should be done so see you once we have all the generators in finally done all the machines, mainly uh, gas generators, are in place. All the wiring is in place. The thermo te liquid tabulizer are in place. The aqua tuner is in place. Steam turbines are in place. So now actually we can turn our attention to the missing pieces. And let's start here with the cooling and water loop. So for cooling of the, um, the steam engines, we will use a bit of uh, radiant pipe. We will make those of, uh, of copper and they will just go behind uh, the pipes dustly and then we need um, here but let's let's not make that out of um, of uh, Gold ammo gap. Let's use steel because uh, temperatures can get a bit spicy in here. And then all the other piping that we want is basically insulated pipe, and we can use ingenious rock. So we will have pipe in between here and then here the return pipe and there that's that's the output we will do that like this and our duplicates for once are eager to do some work so that's that but then we will have something like this with a, with a bridge and then go 
up here and there and there we will have another vent because um, we generate polluted water in here we will cool that down but uh, then we will have steam in this room but eventually we will have too much steam so once we have uh, looped everything through the steam uh, engines steam turbines we get out water and we just want to have so much water in here so basically that's the overflow and then we have a bit more piping uh, to do um, uh, this direction and then up here I think it's the other direction which means we can connect there then this goes here and this goes there then here and that's basically the return line which we will connect up there and then we will have a thermal sensor on here so that means we need to have connection there um, but wrong material we want to make that out of steel of course and then we probably also want to control this one so I am thinking for that we will use an Atmos sensor so uh, but we will also build that out of steel and then of course connect it to there because then we can basically close off the liquid vent when we have too much steam in this room so let's finish off this that part and then uh, connect the different types of uh, pipes uh, and then we can see about the next piece next on the list are the gas pipes and we have three vents here on this side one of the vents is connected to the down below which leaves two vents for up here and we have uh, seven layers of uh, gas turbines and um, in the top one we are missing two so i think we can connect the top four layers and the bottom two layers into one output pipe and that one is is pretty straightforward because all we need to do is connect it like this and then make all the connections to the output so we don't forget any one of them and i also want to do that here on this level and what we also should consider uh, 
before we start the machine we want to pump out all the gases that we have in here which means we need some gas pumps we only need them initially so they actually don't need to be made out of steel so we place one here and we will have another one down there however what we need is probably power um, here we can do that uh, with this normal metal and we also want to have a means to switch the whole thing off uh, because once we have a vacuum in here and uh, the the machine starts running we will create steam and of course we don't want to pump out the steam we want to keep in the steam uh, there and use that um, for our steam turbines so that's working out just fine i think and of course it only makes sense to start up the pumps once we have closed off here on this side and once we have been done with with the uh, saving then we can also place in the pipes here that's for the input let's put them out to there and not quite sure where they go uh, but basically somewhere on this side we will have gas pumps stacked uh, upon each other so the next uh, one would be here then and if we do it like that we can better use the space that we have so let me finish that set up and give the duplicates a bit of time to do the work and then we can see what else we are missing here before we are done uh, with that part all connected up so the last puzzle piece for today should be fairly easy because we will have some temperature uh, sensors that we connect thusly. And 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 up here in this cooling loop uh, we will have super coolant so for that reason uh, we are here at minus 250 so if we cool this down it goes down to minus 246 at which point the coolant will still be liquid and uh, if we are still above then we basically bypass through here otherwise we run through the aqua tuner and come back there and then this sensor i set up for five kilograms 
uh, if we have more steam in there this vent will close and in that case uh, the water output from these three generators will bypass the vent go through here and out on this side and from here this one will directly go outside so then down here we have to figure out what temperature we have to set there um, because we are interested in the uh, vaporization point um, 119.5 so I would say let's try for 120 if it's below we are heating and we can copy that and then we're basically good to close this off and turn our attention to the actual uh, production of the natural gas from crude oil but as mentioned in the beginning this will come in the next episode also until then goodbye